filter from 10 days ago. And then I showed you the day of the graft, how the builder is taken apart and structured so that we end up with a queenless builder. And so now I want to show you the graft. want to do at least 24 hours ahead of time is you need to clean those cell cups depending on what you're grafting into you have the NICOT cell cups the GSB cell cups or if you're even you know even more advanced or trying to be more self-sufficient you made wax cell cups the wax cell cups probably still have to go in. I don't know that for sure. But the GSBs and all that, they'd want to be clean. I reuse my equipment and they are just fine at reusing the cups. But for 24 hours, you want to put this bar, you know, even if it's four cups, into a hive so that they can clean it and get that kind of bee vibe going all over it. Now whether it's a smell or whatever, they're definitely on it cleaning it. I give it a spritz of sugar water before I put it into the hive and then I go ahead and stick it in at least 24 hours. Have I done it for less? Yes, if I've forgotten. Um, but you want them clean cups. I have that I have my cups being cleaned in. One of the things that you, you, you don't really want to put them in between honey. You want them in between some brood. So when they're in between brood, then you have all the nurse bees up there taking care of the cups for you. There are instances of them filling the cups. If you're in the flow, they could probably fill it within 24 hours. If you're just ahead of your game and actually, you know, put them in for a little longer than 24 hours, especially if it's all brand new equipment, then they might fill it with nectar. These, this hive has already started building wax on some of the cups. It's not hard to knock it down. And it's because it's up in the brood. They don't like that separation. If it was just a plain frame, they'd be building them out my frame. Yeah. So there it is. See, they did build. That's easy enough to be knocked down but they've cleaned those cups like crazy. And she's ready to use. Make sure you remember to refill that frame. Don't, don't leave your frames open. We all do it. It's just a friendly reminder. If it happens, you're cleaning up a mess sooner or later. But for now, there you go. Fill that frame in. So when you're looking for your queen, your frame to graft from, you can confine your queen in a smaller hive. And I have a video on that. But if you're just going through your hive, you want to look for a frame with eggs. And obviously you don't want just a frame of eggs, but if you can see an egg line and then moving inward or outward, your larva, your egg line is where you're gonna find your best larva to graft. That's what you wanna look for. And so that's what you wanna pull. But when you do this, you do not want to shake the bees. You have to brush the bees off 
because if you shake it, you can jar your larva and either injure them or shake them out of the cells and you'll never find them again. And then however many you're going to graft, you need to make sure you have enough larva on your frame. This is my queen that I want to graft from. She has a great population. She exploded this spring with actually no feed. She put up plenty of honey last year. And there's a few other, she's a gentle hive. Even though I'm in gloves now, I could probably work her to, with none. During uh, the warmer seasons, no gloves. She's not hitting me now. There's a few reasons that you graft from a queen, and it's not just because she's pretty, and you want to, you know, kind of get your ducks in a row as to why you're pulling that queen. If it's just your only queen and you're doing queen rearing the first time, then that's your queen. So this frame is all larva and eggs with a nice ring of pollen to the side. And it's because there's hardly any capped on there that I should be able to graft a nice set from. And then I'll turn it over. And again, there's the older larva and it kind of concentrically goes all the way out to where there's eggs. Can you see my knife? Here is the egg line. Is there a way to get the egg and in to the next ring where it goes? They are not yet in a complete C. They more are in the shape of a banana. And you may just see a glistening. In the sun, I can see these things. When I'm grafting, I need a whole new set of eyes. Are you getting it? Like a, I don't know if you can see what if you can show that. Yeah. You can talk, because I can, I can, you know, kind of dip it, tone it out. So, now, you want to brush the bees off, because you don't want to jar any of that larva, not only for, you know, injury purposes, but also you don't want it to move out of the cell. The cells that you thought were full, you go to graft and they'll be gone. When you sweep, don't don't go gentle. First look for your queen. I don't like sweeping queens. And then snap. Now you want to get a damp towel on it and do your graft. This is a damp towel. Even though I have a humid area here in Mississippi, uh, the, lately it's been very dry. But that doesn't mean that the larva can't dry out. And this is protecting not just my grafting larva, but the larva that's already too old so they can go right back into the hive. And she doesn't miss a beat. Make sure you have your damp towels. They do get uh, propolis and wax on them. Don't use your best towels. And this is a great uh, tool to have instead of buying 
a frame rack designed for this. This is for, for a spool of thread and uh, it's been working out just fine. This one I don't need. You also want, am I still filming? Okay. You also want some rags so that as you graft into your little cups, you can start covering them. Especially if you're just beginning, it takes a little while to get the hang of it. It still takes me a little bit and sometimes you grab a frame that didn't give you exactly what you wanted. The other tools you're going to need are your jeweler's glasses or your best eyesight. I do mine outside. The sun helps me. Some people like to have a light behind them. I like the sun. And then your grafting tool. This is a Chinese grafting tool. Um, they're fairly cheap and people tend to really like them. It's a thin slice of, I think it's bamboo, and you scoop and then use the plunger to get it off. I don't care for that one, but I did use it at some point. My best tool is a brush. It's soft, it's tiny, and it really, really works. Can you see that brush tip? So one of the things about grafting outside, the sunlight is perfect for me, but you do get a few bees and uh, they can get up and get on your nerves, but I prefer the sun. So I take uh, my brush and I take a cell that has a lot of royal jelly in it. Get my brush wet. And then just dab in each of the cells. She's going to face fly me now. It's not quite wet grafting. but it helps with the take that I've managed to do. Okay. So you go right to the egg line. Right where there's a little glisten. There's a larva on there. It's teeny tiny. There's one on there. Mm. 
You see it? Okay, you on? Okay. So my, my graft is done. And again, the damp towels, make sure nothing dries out because they are just these teeny tiny little nothings. This is where they're gonna go. This is their frame of pollen. And if you can get up here, there's, there's bees webbing and festooning in between. This is a first time builder, so the next time I use it, it'll even be bigger. There's still a little bit of uh, cap brood hatching out. And that's what you want. Because I'm in the original spot of the mother hive, even tomorrow when the girls leave the mother hive, they'll come back to this hive. But right now is when I want them because now the next few hours are going to be crucial. The bigger your builder, the better. I've seen people do it on a minimum amount of bees, and I'm sure you can. But if you're doing a larger graph, each queen is supposedly visited and fed 1,600 times a day. That's a lot of bees to do some feeding. And even though she's got some honey frames on the bottom, I feed just in case there's no rain or there is rain and they cannot leave. In 24 hours, these cells will be started. I can either move them to a finisher hive or I can rejoin the mother hive so that it's a queen right finisher. Okay, up here. I hope that answers some questions about grafting. It's really hard to get a good shot of grafting. If anyone wants to buy me a really good camera, that'd be great. But barring that, uh, you, you have to learn by doing sometimes. There's only so much pictures can help you with until you actually get your hand out there. Try those different grafting tools, you'll find what works for you. There's three or four types of grafting tools. I found the brush is the best for me. I also have to wear the jeweler's glasses. Uh, so then the rest is up to you. Happy beekeeping.
towel keeps all the larva from driving, drying out, not just the egg and the ones that you're gonna use. You wanna be able to put this back. So ladies, don't use your husband's best linens because it gets wax and propolis on it. And you don't want him having a hissy fit. So, untie your pants. <laughs> Get comfy. Get comfy. <laughs> Am I still filming? <laughs>